All right, guys. So um, this video was not intended for you guys, but it was intended for my son. So I'm about to teach him how to add and subtract fractions. Well, really, I'm going to start with adding fractions. So you get to hear our conversations, and this is real, real talk, okay? All right, son. So let's start off with what you know. Mm -hmm. All right. Is one half equal to four eighths? Yes or no? Yes. Why do you say that? It looks different. It don't look the same. Because one half. You sure? Mm hmm Using math, so you know that, right? Because you can actually picture that, right? You, what if I tell you, hey, I'm gonna cut this pizza into half, right? So how many slices am I gonna have? It depends if. But if I cut it like the, exactly like this, four. one. I'm gonna have four pizzas, four pieces, four slices. Yeah, pizza. No, the denominator determines how many slices you have. Oh. Right? In this case, how many slices am I going to have? Three. Eight. So which one do you prefer? Do you prefer one out of two slices or four out of eight slices? Four out of eight. Why? You're going to get more? Mm-hmm. Ooh. That tells you JJ doesn't know. Look, I'm going to show you. Here's a whole pizza, and here's a whole pizza, right? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to cut this into one half. You see? You have two slices, right? You're going to get one. So you're going to get this whole slice, right? Mm -hmm. Here, I'm going to cut it into how many? Eight. Eight, right? Now, again, my pictures are not perfect, okay? But how many slices do you get? Four. Four. So you get one, two, three, and four. Who has more? They're technically both the same. They're technically both the same, right? So earlier you said, well, I want four eights. I said, why? Because I get more. And really, do you really get more? No. You just okay. get... You just get more slices, slices, but they're much smaller, right? Because mm -hmm. if you look at this one, if you have one out of two, this one was huge. You get one huge slice, right? Over here, you did it. Your pizza slices were going to be smaller. You see that? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you get four, but they were just going to be smaller. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, just because numbers look larger, does it mean that they are? Mm -mm. Talk. No. No, right? So here's my thing. Earlier you said they're equal, and then you said you'd rather get four eights. Does that make sense to you? Oh. If they're equal, that means they're the same. It's like me saying, all right, Jay, you have 10 cents, 10 cents, 10 cents, 10 cents, 10 cents. And then someone else has two quarters. Who's going to have more money? They're this one, right? Same. But wait, this one has more coins. Yeah, but the value. The value is the same. How much is a person with five dimes going to have? Fifty. Fifty cents. How much is a person with two quarters going to have? Fifty. So just because the numbers look different, they could possibly be the same, right? Mm -hmm. That's the same thing with fractions. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you first have to understand that your... Your fractions can look different, but that doesn't mean that one's bigger than the other, right? You understand that? You sure? Okay, let's go back to that one. We had one half equals four eighths. All right. Are they the same? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So, how can I check that they're the same? I already drew pictures, but let's say that your teacher's like, no, 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 you're a big kid. You can't draw pictures. What do you do? Well, you do you remember? To the bottom, you Very to the good. Top. So let's check this one. Let's check the large one. What do you want to do to it? See if it's the same. Okay, how can I check if it's the same? What can I... You're going from four-eighths to one-half, right? So from big to small, are you going to multiply or divide? From big... Divide. To, very good. What are four and eight both divisible by? Two. Two. Wait, eight and four, two. Okay, what number do you prefer? Mm. Two? Okay, so let's keep two. Four divided by two is? Four. I, I swear my son's smarter than this, guys. 
Wait. Four divided by two. Oh, four divided by two. It's two. I thought eight you said divided eight. by two? Four. All right. Is this in simplest form or can you break it down even more? Can you can two? break it down. All right. What are they divisible by? Two. Two divided by two is what? One. Four divided by two? Is one. I mean, two. Woo! I know he's smart, guys. No, two. I'm kidding. Okay, good job. All right, so you see how they're the same? Mm-hmm. Okay, you need to keep this in mind. You understand what I'm saying? All right, so really what we're going to talk about today is how to add and subtract fractions, okay? All right, so if I were, let's start with adding fractions. Let's say that we're doing three-fourths plus one-fourth. Do you know how to do that? What, do you remember what am I supposed to do? A whole. Okay, I, good job. You see, I told you my son was smart. All right, but how do you do that? What do you add? Mm. You're always going to add what? Numerators. Very good. So I'm going to circle the numerators. Go ahead. I'm going to circle the numerator. What's 3 plus 1? 4. And, okay, so 3 plus 1, I added those. What happens to my denominator? It still stays the same. Very good. Denominator stays the same. So my denominator is going to be 4. So why did you say earlier that my answer was one whole? Because it's 4 over 4, and there's no more leftover pieces. Good. So here I have four slices. Remember, your denominator represents your total. And out of the total, how many are you going to eat? Four. Four. So you ate this one. You ate this one. Three, four. So that means you ate one whole pizza. All right? I promise I'm going to get to what I'm trying to get to. All right, let's try another one. Let's try three eighths plus three eighths. What do I do? You add the numerators. What's three plus three? Six. Six. Over eight. Because the denominator, denominator stays, the same. stays the same. Very good. Six eighths, right? Is that more than one whole or less than one whole? One. More than one whole? Yes? Oh, less. Ah, uh -huh. less, less than one whole, right? Because in this case, let me just draw it. Again, my drawings are not perfect. But you have eight slices. How many are you going to eat? One, two, three. Tell me when to stop. Six. There. Very good. So did you eat one whole? No. no. So this less. is less than one whole, right? All right. Um, what's wrong with your final answer? You won't be able to see that on a test. Six eights will not be there. Why? Do you remember? You have to simplify it. Very good. Look at six and eight. What are they They're both, both divisible, divisible by? by two? Very good. Six divided by two is? Three. Eight divided by two is? Four. Four. Would you say that six eighths is equal to three fourths? Yes. Yes. So this time I'm going to cut it into how many pieces? Look at, look at this. How many pieces? Four. Four. How many am I going to eat? Three. One, two, three. Did I eat the same? Yes. You see that? So they're equal. Again, just like the money, Jay, if it looks different, it doesn't mean that it has a different value. It could, they could have the same. They look different, just like these. They look different, don't they? But can they have the same value? Yes. Yes. All right. Here's the next one. Let's try one-fourth plus three-eighths. All right, what do I do? Why you, did you say crap? Tell me. I, the people need to hear it. Why did you say crap? Because. What's different here? The denominator. <gasps> Very good. You paid attention to the denominator earlier. What, was, what, what did you see about the denominators? They were the same. They were the same. In this case, they're not. So what must you do? You have to do the same thing. They must, the, they must look. The same. Okay, so the denominators must be the same, right? Look here. You have four and you have eight, right? What denominator can 4 and 8 both go into? Think of multiplication. What can they both go into? 32. Okay, 32. Good. 32 will work. Any 16. other numbers? 16 will work. Any other numbers? 8. 8. Very good. Can I use 4? Yeah. 
Oh, no, no, no. No. Okay. So which one are you? do you want me to use? 32, 8, or 16? Um, 16. 16, all right. I would personally use 8. I would use the lowest common multiple. That's what I would do. The least common multiple. But do you want to use 16? I'm cool with that. All right. How do I go from 4 to 16? 4 times 4. What you do to the bottom? You must do to the top. What's 1 times 4? Four? 4. 8 times 4? Is 16. Really? 8 times 4. What's 8 times 4, homie? Oh, 32. So can I use 8 times 4 here? No. no. Okay, I was trying to see if you would catch on to it, and you didn't. Okay? I have to use a different number in this case. What number can I use? 8 times what? you got to be very careful, son. 2. Very good. So you see how I changed here? So pay attention. What you do to the bottom, you must do to, to the, the top. What's 3 times 2? 6. 6. All right. This problem, you now forget about it. Okay? Don't use it anymore. Use this one. Why should I use these oh. right here? Why is it smart? Because it's the same denominator. Very good. You see what I'm saying? So really, Jay, when you get to fifth grade, you need to make sure that your denominators are always the same and be very careful with your numbers. Okay? All right. Check. Denominator stays same. the same. What's four? Ten. Very good. All right. Now, you're not going to find this. You're going to be like, yes, I did a great job. Good for you. But it's not a multiple choice. Why? Because you didn't simplify it. So what are 10 and 16 both divisible? <gasps> are you okay? Yeah. What are 10 and 16 both divisible by? 2. Very good. 10 divided by 2 is? 5. 16 divided by 2 is? Um, 8. Very good. Okay. Can those numbers be simplified? 5 and 8. Are we good? Yeah. All right, I'm going to give you another problem. This time I want you to try it, okay? Okay. All right, let's do another one. Okay, let me give you 5 eighths plus 3 sixteenths. All right, come do this one, son. But I want you to explain to the people as you're doing, what are you thinking? So... The denominators are different. Very good. What should what what can eight and sixteen both go into? Sixteen. Very good. So make your denominator sixteen for both. It's okay. You can, your hand can touch the. Oh, okay. I'm better with my hand. No, no. What I'm saying is right here. Your palm. Sorry. Your palm can touch the. Oh, okay. The thing. It's okay to do that. So pretend you're writing on paper. Good. So you're making both of your denominators 16, make it for both, uh -huh. and then ask yourself, how do you get from here to here? You have to, in order to get to 16, you have to multiply 8 times 2. What you, what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. Mm -hmm. So 5. Go ahead, just tell me, you just said what you do to the bottom. You must do to the you top. You must do to the top. Oh, yeah. Times 2 is 10. Alright. And then 16 times 1 is equal 16. Mm -hmm. I want to see it. Because I told you I want to see all your work from now on at school. And what you do to the bottom you must do to the top. Alright. So times 1 equals 3. Good. And it's not going to... Oh, yeah. Do you care about this? No. Alright. This is the only one you care about. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, now the denominators are the same. Check, check, so, good job. Good. So 10 plus 3 equals 13. Good. So you, oh Ooh. crap, how do you erase? Right here. All right, there you go. It's 13, so. Good job. Can you simplify? Can 13 and 16 both be divisible? By the same number? No. No. So that will be your final answer. Okay. Got it? Mm hmm Okay. So guys, sorry. I hope this video helps you a little bit. Um, we're going to move on to using mixed numbers. This should be pretty short. All right. So here you go, Jay. Look, watch this. 
one and one half plus three and four eighths. All right, so I'm gonna do this one, okay? What I okay? Did did you notice? that my fractions are on one side and my whole numbers are on the other. Yeah. Okay? So I'm always at my fractions. I'm not going to do whole numbers first. Just like when you're adding regular numbers, mm -hmm. what side do you start on, the left or the right? Right. The right. You would do 3 plus 2, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing uh, when it comes to fractions. You work on the right first, okay? All right. One half, so you got to focus here, and 4 eighths. i got to add those first. What must I look at first? The numerators. The numerators? I mean, the denominators. Very good. Like they're the same. Are they the same? No. What but can 2 and 8 both go into? 4. I mean, um, 16. 16? I would have used 8, but I'll go ahead and use what you said. <laughs> it's okay. Again, I would use the least common multiple. All right. Look over here. 2 times what is 16? 8. I Wait. mean... Uh-huh. What you do to the bottom? You must do to the top. What's 1 times 8? Eight? 8. 8 times what is 16? 2. What you do to the bottom? You must do to the top. What's 4 times 2? 8. Very good. Do I care about this anymore? No. Would you say that 1 half is the same thing as 8 over 16? Yes. Yeah. What's half of 16? Tw I mean, um, 8. Very good. So you see how they're the same? Mm -hmm. I didn't. I ma I didn't change my numbers. I just made them look different. Just like t five dimes, and I turn it into two quarters. I just make them look different, but the value stays the same. Does that make sense? Mhm. Mm All right. Denominators the same. Check check. What's eight plus eight? Eight. Oh, eight plus eight is sixteen. All right. I'm done here. Correct. Mhm. Mm but um. What is 16 over 16? A whole. So you could put one, whole. one. So what's 1 plus 3? 4. So can my answer be 4 and 1? No, it could be 5. Very good. This is my final answer. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, let's try another one. Let's do 3 and 3 fourths plus 2 and 3 fourths. All right. What do I need to look at first? The denominators to see if they're the same, and yes, they are. Very good. So check, check. I'm going to use four. And they're both three, so if you add them, How much is that? they're six, so it's over a whole. Very good. So I can't move on because something's wrong with this. What's wrong with six over four? What's wrong with it? It's, it's over a whole. It's okay, so good. So you know that six over four is more than a whole, right? Mm hmm. Okay. What do you know how to how this fraction what they call it? Is it proper or improper? Improper, fraction. improper, right? Because the four is carrying the six, that's too much for him. That's like that's too much weight. How do you do you remember how to fix it? Mad, very well. Mad is for when you do mixed numbers, it's not a mixed number yet. You divide. Numerator starts with an N. It goes on the inside. Denominator on the outside. All right. Four can go into six. One time. One time. What's one times four? Four. It's two. Six minus four is? Two. Two. So that means you have two left out of? Four. Good. So two left out of four. You with me? Yeah. So here I have one and two fourths, right? Yes. Now I can add my whole numbers. What's 3 plus 2? 5. So can I have 5 and 1 and 2 fourths? Mm, yeah. Which ones can I add together? Mm, let's see. 5 and 2 fourths. Mm. I mean, and 1, I mean. Okay, how much is 5 and 1 whole? Because remember, whole numbers can stick with whole numbers. Fractions got to stick with fractions. So these I can add because they're whole numbers. 6 and a half. Ooh, you said 6 and a half, but I had 6 and 2 fourths. How did you get 6 and a half? That's the same thing. Very good. What did you do in your head? Starts with an S. Subtract. Subtract. 
Oh, no, I mean simplify. All right, what are they both divisible by? Two. Two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two. So they're the same. Very good. Right? Mm -hmm. And I wrote the whole number here so we don't forget. All right, one more and we will be done. All right, let's clear that. Let's do three and four eighths plus two and three fourths. What must I do first? You have to look at the denominators and see if they're the same. Are they? And they the same? are not. They are not. Okay. What can eight and four both go into? They could both go into eight. All right. So make your denominator eight. All right. And four times two equals eight. All right. What do you do? And mm -mm. oh yeah. And three times two equals six. Good. And eight times one equals eight, and four times one equals four. Good. So this one, if you notice, it was already eight. The denominator was eight, so that whole thing is going to stay the same, four eighths. Do you care about this side anymore? No. All right. Go ahead. Hmm. And then you're adding. Oh, yeah. What happens with the denominator? It stays the same. All right. Right? Mm-hmm. Go ahead and, and check, then check. 4 plus 6 equals 10. So Good. 10 over 8. All right. So you have to divide. Very good. Why are you dividing? What made you do that? So you can figure out what? Good, because it's an improper fraction. The 8 is carrying the 10. Fraction. Very good. Which one goes so, on the inside? Numerator, numerator goes on the inside. So 10 and 8. Good. 8 can go in. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm just going to erase that so you can have space. All right? 8 can go into 10. One time. Very good. I love how you did 8 can go into 1, 0. Very good. So you have two left and out of ten. So. No, no, no. Oh yeah. Sorry. Out of how many? What was your denominator? Eight. Remember? So two. You bring that down. Two out of eight, and then you bring that up. Oh, okay. One and two. And then one and two. All right. So what do you do now? You bring this over okay. here. Okay. Go ahead. You don't have to draw the arrow, just write it down. Oh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> so, 12. 12. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, 1 and 2 eighths. Good. And then add this, right? Mm hmm. It's five, and whole numbers um, stick with whole numbers and fractions. Stick with fractions. Very good. Plus one, six, and then two, eight. Very good. Six and two, eight. Go ahead, write it down. So what he's saying, guys, as he's writing this down, the, how he got that was um, earlier he had said, I'm, I'm going to show him what you did, okay, for the people okay. that are like, oh, well, how do you get that? He, he added three plus two, which is five. And 10 eighths is equal to 1 and 2 eighths. So what he did was he wrote 5 and 1 and 2 eighths. And he, like he said in the video, 5 and 1 holds their whole numbers. So whole numbers can stick with whole numbers. 5 plus 1 is 6. And then bring the 2 eighths. Okay. Um, now the thing is, his answer is 6 and 2 eighths. Jay, do you understand what went wrong with your final answer? If this was on the test, you would totally not get it. You did a great job, great steps, but what is wrong with your final, final answer? Simplify. Simplify. What are they both divisible by? Eight. Two divided by eight? I can have two. 
No, like, they could both go into 8. I said, what can they both be divided by? What are they oh, divisible by? 2. All right. 2 divided by 2? Is 1. 8 divided by 2. Very good. And then bring your whole number. All right, guys, I know this seemed kind of long. It was kind of a long video, but I just wanted to show you. Um, this is how I teach my son, and this is basically his first time doing this with me. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this helps. Say thanks, Jay. Thank you. Hope you get to see a little bit more. Have a great day.